Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Scholar with Mr. B. I'm Mr. B and today we have this first generation Chevy Volt here. And we have a problem, it's a common problem on these, with the instrument cluster failing to display anything. Now I'm talking about the instrument cluster that's in, right in line with the steering wheel, not the infotainment section over here, just the main instrument cluster. So bought this car, got it back to life, and noticed right away that the instrument cluster wasn't working. So uh, you know, no codes, no anything like that. So I figured that the display was bad. So what I did is instead of going to the dealership, which I'm hearing anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 for this replacement, I really didn't want to put this amount of money in this car. So I purchased a used instrument cluster, a known working instrument cluster from someone that was parting this out. And uh, I wanted to install just the LCD panel. And so I'm going to show you how to take the instrument cluster and just take the old LCD panel out and put it in. It's easy, you don't have to solder anything, but I, honestly, that didn't fix my problem. The board was bad on mine. So what I ended up actually doing is just putting the LCD panel back into the uh, cluster that I purchased, the junkyard cluster, and put it in the car, and it's working with the exception of the miles. The odometer no longer is showing the miles on here but other than that every other feature is working so i'm sure there's some way that you can probably reprogram this to work but honestly with a car like this i'm looking on my scan so i've got 275,000 miles on it i'm not really worried about the, the, the mileage display i can always check it if i need to with a scan tool so i'm not too concerned with that but uh if you are concerned with this if your board goes out then yeah you're going to have this problem if it's just the lcd screen and your old board is working you can swap one from a known good unit and you're gonna have your mileage, you're gonna have everything. You're not gonna to need to recode anything. It's gonna work perfectly. Unfortunately, my board was uh, bad. So this didn't work in my uh, situation. However, I do wanna show you guys how to take this apart and how to pull the cluster out and replace that LCD screen. So uh, follow along with the video. And if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments. Okay, so here we are inside. Now there is a trim piece we have to get off right here. And what I do is I take one of these little plastic tools here, comes in a kit, you can get them from Harbor Freight or wherever. And there is, you, you wanna kind of wedge it in here and just try to pop those clips loose right here. And then there's clips right there. And you gotta pull pretty hard to get this off. Uh, it kind of feels like you're about to break something and it'll finally just pop loose. And then this right here just pulls straight up. It has some clips here that fits on some pegs in there. And then once you get that out of the way, you have seven millimeter here, here, and then two at the bottom. And that'll come off and you'll pull this out. And you have a little latch back here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed, there we go. And that latch pops this way, right here. Get the focus, and this will pop off right there, okay? And then after that, you know, it does help if you have the steering wheel all the way down and, and telescoped all the way this way. Uh, that way it's gonna give you more room. So let's go ahead and put this on the bench and see what we can do about trading out this LCD screen. This is the download for the Chevy Volt here on eManuals, which is a great service. You can buy a, a service manual for your vehicle and it downloads directly to PDF and you can keep it forever. But this is the uh, instrument panel um, part of the um, eManual. And so it's showing kind of how it comes apart. This is really great. This is uh, equal to basically what I use on a daily basis and pay a lot more money for than this. So this service manual, as you can see up here, is 8,110 pages long. And so you will have to use the uh, control F uh, search function here for whatever you're looking for. And it does have a, a pretty long table of contents in there, but pretty much anything that you need for these cars will be found at the e-manuals online. And I'll provide a link down below for you to get your own e-manual and that's for any car out there or appliance or anything else that they may have. Okay, so here is the instrument cluster here. And first thing that we're gonna do 
you want to make sure that you're, you've got a cloth or something to lay this on, is you have these clips all the way around and you will pull those off. Be very careful, they're very fragile. Uh, since I'm doing this one-handed, I already loosened these up and this will come off. So these clips right here will run on these right there. And then you're gonna flip this over and you'll be able to see the screen right away. Again, this screen is gonna be uh, exposed. So make sure that you have something to cover up your work surface so you're not messing anything up. And then you have more clips right here. And these are a little bit easier to get off. The other ones are kind of a pain. And they're all around here. And these just come off with your fingers. Okay, so here we have, let's turn this around here. Here we have uh, the cluster. You have a Torx one, two, three, four. We're gonna go ahead and get off. And this is kind of where the rubber meets the road here. So you have a white piece right here and you can just pop this out with your fingers. and we will slide out this ribbon. Be very careful not to chip this ribbon or anything like that. You don't want to uh, mess it up. But, but I want you to notice that this white piece goes over the ribbon right here. And then there's another ribbon up here and there's a black piece that goes under the ribbon. If you put that black piece over the ribbon and put it in there, it's not gonna work, okay? so. You want to make sure that this black line is parallel to the connector. And that's kind of a guideline there. And when you pull this out, I don't know if I can do it one handed. When you pull this out like that. This, uh, this may come off. That's okay. Just be careful not to, to chip the, uh, where it plugs in at. And of course this right here is the same thing. I'm just going to pull this off like that and your black thing might come out. There is, a up, uh, there is a top and bottom to this, so make sure that when you put it in, the uh, ribbon has a space in there. So you take these torques off right here. Let me get those off. So once you take the torques out, and that is a, uh, let's see what size torque this is, probably a T10, you're gonna pull this off. And here's your board. And here's the board out of our old cluster. So uh, you just lift this up. And you will put this right here. Then again, just put it back together. This is uh, not difficult, but just uh, make sure that the the, the black piece is underneath this one and the white piece is over this one. And I'm gonna put this back together and we'll see if it works. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, my LCD and my board had issues. So I tried swapping LCDs uh, between the old board and the new LCD and had issues. And uh, I tried swapping the other way around had issues. So this is basically just the whole um, cluster, the new cluster. And so you can see here, the only issue that you're gonna have using a cluster like this is your mileage is not going to read here. And uh, you know, if that's an issue with you, you're just, I don't know if there's a way to reprogram it. I'm gonna look and see. I've got my Snap-on Zeus scan tool here, uh, but the, the mileage is actually kept in the body control module and it's transmitted to this uh, cluster as far as I can tell uh, from what I've been reading. So, uh, but everything seems to be working now. Uh, you know, I can, I'm gonna go take it for a drive and just make sure everything lines up correctly. I've got to go get some gas. I just realized I don't have any gas in this thing. So, um, other than that, I mean, we are uh, just gonna put the cover back on and make sure everything lines up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, VK, 
all those sources and uh, you know I post a lot of stuff on there. I'm getting a new project this week. It's going to be very interesting. So we'll see you next time on Otter Scholar with Mr. B.